Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to add a new email to FaceTime. You can have multiple FaceTime emails addresses beside your Apple ID email address. You can select one or more of them so that the people can use these emails to reach you via FaceTime. You can also pick one of them as your caller ID. If you use the same Apple ID all of your devices, your changes will sync across your other devices. You can only choose one email address as your caller ID. This email will be shown to the other party you are FaceTime calling. However, you can select multiple email addresses that people can use to call you. You cannot add emails that are already in Apple database. For example, you cannot add current Apple ID. We are essentially updating your Apple ID. We are adding a new email to your Apple ID and thus you can start using the new email with FaceTime. But first, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button. So let's start the video without wasting any time. To see your current emails on your iPhone or iPad, go to settings and then go to FaceTime. Tap on it. You will see the emails under the you can be reached by FaceTime ad. As you can see on iPhone or iPad, there is no button to add a new email address and there is no option to remove one. So I am going to tell you how can you manage this. To add a new email on iPhone or iPad, go to settings. Then tap on your Apple ID at the top and then tap on sign in and security. And then tap on edit at the top. Here you have an option of add email or phone number. Tap on it. Tap on add an email address. Enter the new email address and then tap on next. After verification, this email will be added. Now you can go to settings and then go to FaceTime. After adding the email, if you have multiple devices sharing the same Apple ID, you may see a pop-up message asking if you want to add this email to FaceTime and iMessage, you can select yes to add it. You can use this email as your FaceTime caller ID or you can add it as one of the emails that people can use to call you via FaceTime and you are done. I hope this solution will fix your issue of how to add new email to FaceTime and also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.